welcoming students to our story reading session my name is vitika suresh lohar and today we are going to start with a new story dear students in this covid-19 lockdown period even the schools are closed we are not going to stop our progress we are going to learn from home every day we will try to read a new story try to listen to more of english so that we can enhance our reading and speaking skills name of today's story is a wise merchant so let's see what happens in the story the wise merchant sabuk was a wealthy merchant his father had left him a huge property but due to his extravagant ways sabuk soon lost it all he was left with was an old iron balance having learned his lesson too late sabuk decided to go to far off countries to seek his fortune so one day he went to his friend naran and said this iron balance is my father's last possession please keep it safe till i return naran promised to keep the balance safe thanking him sabuk took leave and started on his travels for many years he worked hard roaming from place to place and earned a good fortune finally he returned to his city and went straight to naran's house at first naran was shocked to see sabuk then pretending to be surprised he said it has been a long time friend i am glad that you are back sabuk happily told his friend how he had earned a fortune then he said thank you for keeping my balance now may i take it back naran kept mum actually he had sold the heavy balance to a blacksmith for a good amount when sabuk asked again naran pretended to be sad and said how do i tell you friend your balance was chewed up by some rats sabuk at once understood that naran had been greedy he decided to teach him a lesson forget about the balance dear naran he said hiding his anger i have bought i have brought some gifts for your little son please let him come to my house to collect the gifts naran readily sent his 10 year old son along with sabuk till late evening naran's son did not return home now naran became worried and went to sabuk's house Where is my son? He asked. At this, Sabuk sadly replied, "How do I tell you, dear friend? Your son was carried away by an eagle." What nonsense! Naran cried. "You are a liar. I will take you to the king and get you punished." They both went to king, accusing Sabuk. Naran pleaded. before the king this man has kidnapped my son no your majesty sabuk defended himself his son was carried away by an eagle narang shouted but how can an eagle carry away a 10 year old boy why When some rats can chew up an iron balance, why can't an eagle carry away a ten-year-old boy? Replied Sabuk. Now the king asked, "What is this story about rats chewing up an iron balance?" Sabuk immediately narrated to the king how Naran had given the excuse of the rats eating out his iron balance. He also brought Naran's son to the court and. confessed that he had done all this to teach naran a lesson the king praised why sabuk and scolded naran for cheating his friend he ordered naran to buy 
back the iron balance from the blacksmith and return it to Sabu. Narang apologized before the king and also asked for forgiveness from Sabu. Then he bought back the balance and returned it to its rightful owner. Sabu happily returned home with his prized possession. Dear students, that was a really nice story. Listen to this video again and try to read every page all by yourself. Thank you very much for listening.